we're at Carlsbad Caverns. And this is all a ancient reef that used to be under an ocean. That's what makes this cavern a little bit different than other caverns. So what this is saying is from the city of Carlsbad, where that we're we're here. Anyway, it's more area the ancient reef that used to be under an ocean that's now lifted up. Most of it's buried. Uh, but part of it has lifted up and that's, that's what this is here, all of this. So we're on our way up the canyon to the cavern, but down here is an Indian, uh, where Indians lived in a cave, a small cave, but this is where they got their water right here. And then the Indian cave is on down this way. So you got this ledge here, and uh, this is down in the valley here. You got this ledge here. All around here, there's a little bit of a cave, and this is where they, they said they found lots of bone and things, uh, arrowheads and things that the Indians left here, that, that they knew that they lived here off and on inside this little cave. It's nice and shady here. Out of the sun. Out of the road coming up the canyon. I'm shooting this footage in the first half of the cave with my older camera. I'm saving my newer camera with the wide uh, angle for the. We took a little 10 mile loop road just before we got to the cavern. It winds around down in the high country here above Walnut Canyon, which is the canyon we were going up. But it's going to top us right back down just below where we started here in a little bit. There's a Ronald Snake Canyon over the... I'm just leaving the car in the middle of the road because I don't think there's nobody. I don't think there's nobody coming. So I'm assuming this ledge is the overlook. So this is Rattlesnake Canyon. The wife wouldn't come down here because she said there would be rattlesnakes. For the second time in this trip, we've come to a five mile an hour curve. Not a 50 mile an hour curve, not a 30 mile an hour curve, but a five mile an hour curve. Let's see what this one's like. See the five mile an hour curves, you gotta stop in the middle and just spin your car around. I could have did that at 10 mile an hour. <laughs> Stop that here in the middle of nowhere. And right here in the little depressions, these pretty little purple flowers. So here's how the tour goes. That's the visitor center there. And we walk. Got a bunch of switchbacks down a hill. And then we enter the cabin. And this first part of the trail. This is like a quick tour of the entire cabin. And then it kind of goes two ways here. And we go under a rock down a bunch of switchbacks. Through a tunnel there. Out of the tunnel. And then come down. And then what they call the King's Palace. And then through the King's Chamber. Are you hitting lights? Oh, this is that. Yeah, King's Palace. That's King's Palace. Queen's Chamber. This room. Right, and then the trail goes up. And kind of around. And down into there. So back to right there. Everything I showed you is a mile and a quarter. And then you get into the lunchroom here. Where you can get something to eat. And then you leave the restroom and you enter the big room. Because you're doing a big loop around this room. You're 
and go around this way, come back through there, past the Hall of Giants. And all the way down where you get a view of the lower part. This is the lower cave. It's a huge room. And all you get to see is a little viewpoint from right up there. You're way up and you get to look down into this giant room. Except we came across that way on the way in and then on the way out you'll come through here and then you're back over to the launch room and you come up an elevator to the visitor center and out. So it's all downhill. That's a good thing.